Swedish meat factory. Hello, sir. How nice of you to choose our hotel. You are in luck today, sir. We have one available room left. Of course, it is not recommended to come here by me. Haha, -ha, but there are those like me, or in this case, you, who do not understand better. Why shouldn't we try our luck in a global recession, in a small village that no one has ever heard of before? Come away with me far into the deepest forest, where the trees grow so dense that no one will ever hear you scream. Don't you just long for that quiet vacation? far away from city stress? Yes, I know those famous legends. I was sure that those small trolls made of stone by unknown people in hard to reach destinations just before the elk hunting towers were there only for the tourists. We like stories about the Vikings here. We really don't care for tourists and outsiders. But don't mind me dabbling on and on. Who knows what opportunities are waiting for you here, right? I will even pay for your ticket. Or, as a preacher of Norse mythology called me, you are an idiot, you are fiffle, huh? It took me two weeks of googling to find out what fiffle meant. It's a big stupid giant. Okay, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, and you're probably wondering why I talked to the preacher. It's not as mysterious as it sounds, I believe. Wait, I will whisper it to you instead. There are really bad things going on here, evil things, and a preacher is supposed to be a good soul, isn't he? I do not know how this village came to be. I just got to realize myself that I actually can't leave it. Thinking about it now, it may have been at a party with one of the villagers when I understood my fate. I might just have made someone prominent really angry when drinking too much and behaving poorly. Anyway, it's about here that my story started. See, I must have stepped on someone's pink rabbit to end up in this village. Only, I do not know whose pink rabbit it might have been, then how to undo it, right? First, let me tell you what hell is. It is not a burning predictable spectacle in humans after death experience. It's the total isolation in a sleepy little town out in nowhere where everyone is too polite, full of hidden evil, and where visitors just disappear. Not you, of course. You won't disappear. To get to this place, you need to step on a pink rabbit, but you can apparently step on something worse and disappear completely. It's like the song Hotel California. You can check in any time you like, but you can't ever leave. Again, not you, of course. You can leave whenever you wish to. There is actually a bus that comes and goes up to three times a day. The problem is just how to get on it. For me, that is. It looks like an ordinary small bus in an ordinary small village, but it is evil. Will you arrive by car, by the way, perhaps? Silly me, losing track of what I am saying again. If you get on the bus and were to leave with it, it strangely enough only goes around in circles. So odd, and if you were to get off before you're back here again, then you would end up in nowhere, all alone. A very creepy place, I must say. Finally, you would have to call someone, a new friend from the hotel, perhaps, who will take you back here again. So good and safe, you will never be lost, and your new friend will say with a smile on her face, have a nice day. Don't forget to visit for a cup of coffee, and remember to take a tour of our gift shop. If you bring any outsider friends here, their experience of this sweet little town will be the exact opposite of yours. And if you were to succeed in persuading them to give you a ride home in their car, something might happen that will destroy any hope you had of leaving. Suddenly, an uncle who has traveled all the way from America to Sweden, and who is in this exact village at this very moment, a society that can't even be found on a map, happens to need a ride too. Unfortunately, there will be no room left in the car for you. The frustration and discomfort grows, but no one can see that because no one believes that you can't leave, no one at all. Instead, you'll smile back and hiss between your teeth, oh, of course an uncle from another country would show up here. Imagine what luck he had finding you here too. What a strange coincidence. Your friends will give you an utterly friendly hug and wish you all love in the world as they happily leave you behind. All that friendliness fills the room and chokes you as your bestie says, why don't you take the bus? Yes, you laugh artificially and hope that no one will notice. Yes, ha ha, why don't I take the bus? For a while, two more dead than living cats came to my little house down the road from the hotel. They came from the young neighbor who left the village screaming in the middle of the night with her two small children. She had a car, 
We don't know if they made it out. I never cared for her much. She was strange, but I did name the dead cats. I called them the cat and the cat, skin and bones, both of them, and full of lice and ticks. Their eyes looked like light bulbs sticking out of their tiny skulls, and they never ate any of the food I gave them, so the food just piled up and gathered flies. The sound of the flies was comforting for a while. Have you ever experienced that? I didn't like it for too long though. Enough was enough when they started to crawl into my nose at night. I mean, kindness has its limits, right? They like me for some strange reason, and I like them, but they also disappeared. Not much to eat on those two, only skin and bones, yup, only skin and bones. This happened at the same time that dead birds fell from the roofs of all buildings here and created a cemetery of unearthed animals. Between you and me, it could very well have been an ongoing environmental disaster, but the whole point of this story, before you get your tickets, is that no one believes me. It's hysterically funny, really, that they placed me in charge of tourism. Listen to this, if I were to say that it was an environmental disaster, then activists would change sides and start fighting for something else. That's how much people don't believe what I say. While you are curious and want directions to us, and I am, hee hee, looking for a way to leave, maybe you would consider insurance. I mean, how fun is it to be on vacation if you can't go back home again, right? Maybe you can ask your father, perhaps he will send the police if you go missing. He will miss you, right? Normally, I am not afraid of places like this with a lot of evil. I mean, why should I be afraid of my new hometown? I live here. It is just in these situations that it is important to become as small as we possibly can, so that we don't create unnecessary waves in the water. We don't want to push the future in the wrong direction, do we? And when I think about it, that could be a likely reason for why I can't leave. However, that's only me babbling again. Although I may have rubbed evil forces the wrong way, quite hard actually, the way it hurts your skin, you know, and that tends to make people angry. Normally, it isn't a reason to be imprisoned here in Bible, but on the other hand, I don't know whose pink rabbit I stepped on. In any case, enough of me talking, talk, talk, talk. In order for you to be able to spend your holiday with us this year, you mainly need to do a couple of things. One, you must have your flu shot taken. COVID-19 isn't something to play around with. Thank you for understanding. And two, you must provide us with the color of your skin. As they say, the darker the sweeter. It's not racist, it's actually about taste. Maybe they want to know so that they can serve you the absolutely best meals. After all, you are renting a room at the Hotel Swedish Meat Factory. Isn't it pretty strange that these two fantastic qualities can cause you to end up stuck here and even vanish? Yet, it's not illogical to the owners. No, that doesn't make sense. I have to look into that. Don't worry about pen and paper. We'll be sending you all the information by mail and email. All you have to do with me on the phone is to relax and listen. So, to get here, you must first be honest, for the truth is not what people want to show to others, is it? As they say, rather a good lie than an uncomfortable truth. Once you are here, you will feel exposed to a suffering that no one believes in. Once you arrive, no one believes anything you say anymore, for isolation is an educational institution. Wait, there we have it, maybe that's the key. Reformatory, can it be that I have to learn to lie to get out of here? As well as, you can't get in if you don't tell the truth on the application. Are you really sure you want to come? Okay, you seem to have made up your mind. Then please follow these few rules or advice. You must never step on any pink rabbits, no matter how small and innocent they look, not even if you are absolutely sure that no one's watching. If you see trolls of stone in the forest, they're not for tourism, they're warnings from people who disappeared. If you happen to see the trolls, turn around and go home. If you happen to hear screams at night from the cellar below your room, and if you also just happen to follow up on those screams and see people on meat hooks, remember stir up no waves, step on no pink rabbits, and never use the phone from inside the village to call out. So let me read to you our motto and policy now, just to verify your order. We, at the Swedish Meat Factory in Bible Village, offer everyone with low income or who is unemployed a luxurious and inexpensive stay by Sweden's biggest lake banner. 
Let us spoil you, so that when you leave, you'll nourish the entire society, all for one, one for all. Thank you for staying with us. By the way, will you arrive by car? I, I was thinking I could plan for a parking lot too. Oh, really? No car? Well then, sir, I welcome you and hope to see you at your arrival. Thank you too, sir. Goodbye. Ring, ring, ring. Welcome to the Swedish Meat Factory. How may I help you today? Oh, hello. Yes, madam. How nice of you to choose our hotel. You are in luck today, ma'am. How surprising. We have only one available room left. Of course, it is not recommended to come here by me, ha ha, but there are those like me, or in this case, you, who do not understand better. Don't say I didn't warn you. Why shouldn't we try our luck in a global recession, in a small village that no one has ever heard of before? Come away with me far into the deepest forest of farmland in Sweden, where the trees grow so dense that no one can even hear you scream. Don't you just long for that quiet vacation? far away from city stress.